competitive game throughout here in Columbia, Missouri. The Gamecocks holding court, though, once again, 63-53, improving to 7-1 and one in conference play. And Coach Frank Martin, uh, kind enough to join us. Uh, Frank, what are you most proud of about your team tonight in victory? Because obviously Missouri can make things very difficult for teams even when they don't win. What are you most proud of? It was a hard game, you know, and I, I knew going into the game, uh, Missouri is very aggressive. You know, they, they, they fight you. I mean, they've – and we, we spoke today a shoot around, uh, you know, like whatever. I don't know how many consecutive losses they have, but in nine of them, they've had a lead in the second half. Right. And um, it's uh, uh, that's a credit to Kim and those kids that, that regardless of the record, they keep fighting the way they're fighting. Coach, in a game where points were just not easy to get, 22 points out of your bench, the Brooklyn Bruiser came in, <laughs> Felder, and took care of business. Talk about your bench and, and what that meant to you tonight on the road. Yeah, we needed it. Uh, you know, Rakim, Rakim's a real confident kid, and uh, um, he comes in there and he's aggressive, and, and that's good. That's why I like him coming in off the bench right now because he comes in and, and he's fearless of the moment. His problem is, is like all first-year guys, he tends to play too fast sometimes, and, and he the game just goes too fast for him. And uh, but uh, our bench was good. T. Blanton helped us out, gave us unbelievable. I mean, he misses shots, but he gave us unbelievable toughness and spirit. Uh, Kadim Gee gave us real good minutes defensively. The, you know, offensively, he's still a work in progress, but at least he helped us protect the paint on defense. And, um, uh, you know, Hassani played pretty good. I kind of shortened the bench in the second half. I, I couldn't afford um, to, to take a chance with some guys. I went with the older guys. And then Dwayne and P.J. made some shots in the second half, so uh, I kind of stuck with them. Coach, you won a lot of games last year, 25 to be exact. The metrics kept you out of the NCAA tournament this year. The metrics look good. Your players look good. The team looks good. you got a 7-1 and one conference mark tied at the top with Kentucky. What does that mean for this program? When you took over, it was a tough spot. Yeah. How proud are you now to see where this program has come? Well, you know, it's, uh, if you told me season ended today, you know, I'd be – jumping for joy <laughs> uh, we still got five weeks of basketball right. left or something like that and uh um so you know it, it's I'm, I'm real proud of our guys you know these are the kind of games that in the past we never won we right. came here last year we played real hard today we weren't very good offensively mm -hmm. I, I our inside guys gave us nothing in the paint um you know you got to score in the paint if you're going to win if not you're, you're not going to win and uh uh, so uh, we need our inside guys to do better but i'm real proud of the guys uh road wins and conference play Take them, get on the bus, get on the plane, go home, and pump your fist. <laughs> We're going to let you do just that. Coach, congratulations. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Coach. Good Gamecocks win. win it by 10 here in Columbia. They'll be on the road in Baton Rouge to take on LSU.